My guest, Dr. Troy Beyer, is a show business veteran who began her on-camera career at the age of four as one of the original cast members of the PBS hit show Sesame Street. Her acting resume includes roles in television shows such as Dynasty, 21 Jump Street, The Cosby Show, and movies such as Eddie and John Q. She has written and directed several projects, including one of my favorite comedy, uh, comedy favorites, Love Don't Cost a Thing. Dr. Troy holds a doctorate in clinical psychology, and she's living her later in life purpose, serving as a mental health care expert specializing in stress reduction, anger management, and organic emotion regulation. Her work for others is shared through Mindology Fitness, an organization she founded, offering fun, effective, and affordable mind care to everyone, everywhere. Dr. Byer, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. What a lovely introduction that was. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh. Thank you. So ladies, just as a little bit of a disclosure, I met Troy many, many years ago when I was first starting modeling with Wilhelmina. I was in awe with her because she was already a star and she was the nicest person and is still the nicest person. Oh, thank you don't remember you. me, but I remember her <laughs> and oh, found her on Facebook. I didn't know what she was doing. Awesome. So big small world, huh? Small world. Thank goodness for social media because yes. it's, it's a way to keep up with everyone, even right. when it's unexpected. Yes, I agree 100%. Yes. So re researching your company, mm -hmm. you are helping people with the power of psychology, storytelling, and mindfulness, and it says that it converges to ignite healing trans transformation. Please share. Right. So the end goal is always healing transformation. Information. That's the end goal. And the means that I may utilize to get to that end goal would incorporate storytelling, filmmaking, psychology, methodologies. I don't really, I'm not attached to the platform that I actually utilize in order to manifest the transformation. I'm just committed to the transformation and I'm committed to the experience being fun and effective. I don't think we have to hurt to heal anymore. Those days are gone, right? So I want to bring fun and play to the experience and creativity and uh, those kind of things. Yeah. So that's what that basically means. Interesting that you said you don't want to bring hurt. I've tried a little bit of, um, I guess you could say therapy back in the day. And mm -hmm. I didn't like that they, it seemed like they were trying to keep me in that painful place. And some of the assignments they were giving me, I was like, I already did that my, you know, on my own. I didn't like that. And even when I saw my friends going through it, they were always in pain. So mm -hmm. how do you help with, I guess it's mental health programming exactly what does the program do so there's a very i have a variation of of methodologies so what you talk about mindology specifically mm -hmm. if you're talking about mindology specifically what that program program does is it's a dissect it dissects you as a human being we first start out with your body we look to see what's uncomfortable for you in your body and we bring comfort to that area and then once we have the body handle we can move on to the mind because if we're concerned with body pains we can't get to the mind right we're distracted by the body so first we focus on the body and getting the body to a baseline that allows us to move to the next part, which is the mind. And then once we get into the mind and free your mind up, we then have direct access to the spirit, which is where the real manifestation power exists. So it's a really fun, it's like Zumba is for the body, mindology fitness is for the mind. It's just think of a mental Zumba. So are you saying that fitness helps with healing? Well, this, this is meant, well, of course it does. Yeah, right. Absolutely. But mental, this is a mental fitness course. And the, be the best way to explain it is the correlation between Zumba and Mindology Fitness. Zumba really makes you feel good because it gets you into your body, right? Mindology really makes you feel good because it gets you into your mind. Oh, so there's, it's like a 
exercises, mental, emotional exercises. Yeah, it's a class. It's a class. There's dancing, there's laughing, there's problem resolution opportunities, there's um, uh, visualization processes where you actually create the future that you want for yourself, whether it be for that day or for tomorrow or the next week or month or year. It's broken up into different um, exercises that are designed to produce specific results. But like I said, the first section, we focus on the body. Second section, we focus on the mind. Third, we get into the spirit. But it's really just, it's like, it's just like having a lot of fun. That's the best way I can explain. It. It's like going to a therapist and dancing. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that like crazy? That. It's, but yeah. it's, it's the best way to explain it. Okay. Can you share without, you know, any personal information from clients? Can you share something uh, uh, that's been transforming with the, uh, regarding a client or ex an example, just to give people a visual? Sure. So I had one client who, uh, when she got to the spiritual section of the workout, she just started sobbing because she never dealt with her fiance suicide. Mm. She avoided therapy because she didn't want to deal with it. But at the end of her mindology class, because the class is designed to push you through spaces that you wouldn't normally go through, but it's done in a fun way. And it's done really by activating the subconscious mind and not the conscious mind. It's almost like getting a kid to uh, have medicine by giving them candy. They're not knowing that it's medicine, right? Okay. I found a way to really bypass the conscious mind so that we get into the subconscious mind, we get the work done, you get the results and you're like, oh my God, what just happened? You know, it's that kind of experience. So that's what happened with her. She didn't want to do therapy because she didn't want to subject herself to the pain of having to relive that experience. And so at the end of her mindology class, the very last, I think it was seven minutes, she just started sobbing. And when the class is over, she's like, I, I, I understand it now. I, I understand why he had to do it. And I'm not mad anymore. And I'm free. And mm -hmm. she had this beautiful uh, vision with him being a dove or something that happened. You know, the subconscious mind is very interesting. When it's ready to resolve some issues and there's no conscious interference, the results are absolutely nothing less than miraculous. So the, mind, the subconscious gave her what she needed to heal without having her uh, stay in that pain. That's basically. right. So, right. The subconscious mind bypassed the conscious mind, which is where a lot of the memory is that's painful, right? And so we were able to bypass that part of her mind and get right into that subconscious and do the healing. And that's where you want to do the healing anyway, because the subconscious mind is responsible for 97% of our behavior, mm -hmm. right? 97%. So why would you engage with the 3% of the mind that really doesn't have an impact on a lasting change? So to get, it's, it's like a biohack, you know, it's like little ninja action in there. And it sounds like it's safer because I'm assuming that inner me, that subconscious mind is going to give me a lesson in a way that I can handle it. And that's healthier than someone forcing something on me like that's right. some treatments, right? Yeah, because your higher self knows what you need more than anyone, right? Mm -hmm. And so I can, I say your higher self, your heart. So that's the whole agenda in um, Mindology Fitness is to bypass the concerns of the body and the mind so we can tap into the spirit, the heart or the subconscious, whatever you want to call it. And that's where the real work is done. And we do all this in 30 minutes. Wow. <laughs> I know, it's pretty amazing. It's really amazing. I love it. I take my Mindology class just and I'm blown away every time. Like I'm going to do a class in a little while and you just okay. never know what's going to come up. It's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that was there. Oh good. I handled it. So yeah. how does storytelling tie in with the mindology transformation? They're distinct. They have nothing. The, so storytelling is yet another platform that I would use. Mindology is a platform. Mm -hmm. Storytelling and filmmaking, right? That's a platform. It's just another platform that I use for transformation. I use various trends. I, like I said, the end result is transformation. And I don't know which road we're going to take to get there, but we're going to get there. So you're being guided. Your inner self is guiding you. Yeah. To take the, okay, got it. Well, I like to think that like if I'm working one-on-one, -on -one, which I don't do anymore, mm -hmm. but if I were to be working one-on-one -on -one with someone, it would be my higher self and their higher self coming together. Mm -hmm. best interests for their best interest to co-create that. 
So are the core, are the, are, are they workshops? Is that the right term? So Mindology fitness classes are just in the video, like you go and take a Zumba class. You can go and take a Mindology fitness class. You just pay $20 and you take the class or you can get a monthly subscription for $20, I think. Yeah. And it's online? Mm -hmm. It's available online at my website. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's so automated. Do clients have to commit or can they try it out? How, how does that work? There is an opportunity, I think, to do a free class, but if you don't, it's money back guarantees, $20. Everyone can, listen, if you can afford $150 for a therapy session, you can afford $20. And if you can't, let me know. I'll give it to you for free. I'm not trying to get rich off of my dollars. You fitness classes, you know? Yeah. You're <laughs> you gotta, just helping people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I think sometimes having people pay something makes them more committed rather than if it's free, then they just blow it off. Yeah, no, everyone's got to have skin in the game. If there's no skin in the game, then, you know, they're, you're not really in the game. You're just like a bystander. No, you got to pay something. There's got to be an exchange of energy and money is a currency that's an energy, right? So if if it's not money, then, you know, you'll, you'll edit my website or like there's got to be some bartering, right? Mm -hmm. Exchange of energy. And I read on your on your site that you it, the program offers inspirational resources. What is that exactly? Well, I oh okay, so that's Elevation One Hundred and Eighty. That's my oh. new search engine that I've created. Okay, please share about that. Okay, so Elevation One Hundred and Eighty is a search engine that I design for people who are looking to inspire and people who are looking to be inspired. It's an inspiration search engine. So like if you wanted to know the different kinds of cryotherapy available, you can actually go to Elevation 180 and type in cryotherapy. So, yeah. Like if you wanted to know what's the best kind of meditation for you, you can go to Elevation 180 and go to the spirit section and look at all the different variations of meditations that are available. So it's just an information database. It's kind of like Google is for information. Um, Elevation 180 is for inspiration. Okay. Now, what do you say to people who may have never tried therapy, don't, are very uncomfortable with therapy, are uncomfortable with the concept of the subconscious mind? I'm very familiar with all of that, so it doesn't bother me. It's like I've healed, got a lot of healing in my life from understanding those and doing a lot of, you know, practicing a lot of tools over the years, but there are a lot of people, maybe because of religious reasons, uh, are very uncomfortable. Well, if you're uncomfortable, don't do it. You shouldn't do anything that you're, makes you uncomfortable. I mean, but here's the thing, growth and expansion is not, not always done in the space of comfort, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to grow and expand, you've got to, you've got to be okay with the discomfort. And if you're not, then you're not ready to grow and expand. It really is that simple. So stay uncomfortable and stay small. Yeah. And I guess if what you're doing isn't working, <laughs> then try something different. Yeah. I mean, you look at a seed when you plant it into the ground, it's not comfortable. It's dark, it's damp, mm -hmm. but they push forward and they push upward in the space of the discomfort for the expression of who it really is, right? Which is what it blossoms into. And that's the metaphor I use for therapy. Like you are a seed in the ground and you're going to get watered and you're going to get some sunshine and some love. And together we're going to push you through that soil so that you can blossom into the best version of yourself. And yeah, if you can't be with the initial discomfort, then that tells me that you are far more interested in staying small and in your comfort zone. So you do that. Yeah. And it happens. <laughs> what <laughs> made you actually step out of Hollywood as huge as your career was to move a totally different path? Although Hollywood is sort of working with psychology as well. <laughs> So I was bored. I got bored. I'd been in the industry since I was uh, four years old. And at that time, I'd been in the industry for 38 years. And I was just bored. I was like, I need to do something different. I have to do something different. And I've always wanted to work with Black single mothers. That has always been a population that I'm passionate about. Because I had such a crazy mother who was who is Black. And, and I just felt like if she knew better, she would have done better. And so instead of complaining about how horrible she is, I made a commitment to making sure that help is available for those who want it, who are in that population. And I didn't know how to do that with the skill set that I, I had at the time. And so I started studying psychology 
And then eventually I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go get a doctorate. You know, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to really just jump in. And I loved it so much. I miss it. I'm actually thinking of getting a second doctorate. I just, I'm I'm like, I'm, I'm a student for life. I love learning. I love studying and discovering new ways to make a difference for human beings. Wonderful. Ladies, Dr. Byer, her passion, everything, what she wants to do to help people. I think that's that's someone you want to seek out because she's not in it for the money. That's not her focus. So she's truly going to be about your healing, but you have to be willing to do the work as well. So my dollar G fitness and mm-hmm. elevation 180, how would people uh, reach out to get more information and what are some of the steps that they should follow? Anything else you may want to share? Yeah. So I think that the biggest thing is if you're new to therapy or you can't afford therapy, if you go to Elevation 180, I have programs that used to sell for thousands of dollars that I now give away for free. So you can just go and look for Dr. Troy's programs on anxiety. anxiety. I have programs on anxiety, fear, depression, sadness, body images, whatever you're dealing with, you'll probably find a lot of free programming. So I would say to just go to Elevation 180 and just start surfing that website, become a member, join the community. And then if you want to take a Mindology Fitness class, you'll find that on Elevation 180 as well. Okay. And it's limited to ages or nope it's nope no limitations at all it's available for everyone okay so ladies if you have a son daughter cousin Mm -hmm. anyone you know who needs assistance and help who want to grow who want to change their life i think stress and anxiety isn't that Mm -hmm. one of the biggest issues right now well stress is the number one uh cause of anxiety that are what was it? How did it go? It said something like emergency room doctors report that stress is the number one um, inspiration for people seeking emergency help. It's not an inspiration. Not the, I say impetus It's the impetus for those who, who are in need of like some sort of anti-anxiety medicine or like emergency medical attention. Yeah. Stress. That's interesting because a girlfriend of mine told me years ago that stress is just part of life. So is that a faulty way of thinking? I'm not stressed. It's not part of my life. (laughs) You know, if you want to surrender for mediocrity, yeah, sure. It can be a part of your life. It ain't a part of my life, honey. Let me tell you something about stress. All stress is, stress is there is better than here. Mm. That's stress. Hmm. I'm here, but I need to get there and I'm stressed out because the journey from here to there is stressful. That's all stress is, is here is there is better than here. That's, that's stress. Okay. So how do you deal with, like you mentioned, a single mom who is having problems keeping food on the table? How does, does your program help someone learn to manage like those everyday reality issues? Yeah, but those are circumstances. Oh. We're not your circumstances. Circumstances are a by- byproduct of how we think about our lives, right? So if you think poverty, then you'll manifest poverty. Everything's energy. Everything has a frequency. Mm-hmm. You don't attract what you want. You attract what you are, right? So I wouldn't be concerned about her ability to put food on the table. I would be more concerned about her relationship with who she is for herself that has her not think that she's capable of thriving in her life instead of surviving. That's where I would go. I don't care about the circumstances. You get right to the core, right? Like what's going on? Who are you for yourself that you're not thriving and you're surviving? And what are those conversations that they're having with other people who are keeping them in that same space? And same uh, yeah, thinking? it's all thought. You got to mind your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Mind your thoughts. Never heard of that. Yeah, you gotta mind your thoughts. I know, right? It's almost like an oxymoron in a way, right? You mind your thoughts. Mind your thoughts. I think that might be a slogan for you. <laughs> mind your thoughts. Yes, your thoughts. you. So that's your, your next book. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Doctor uh, Doctor Byer. How would people? They can go to Mindology Fitness. Your website. Yeah, just go to my website, drtroybuyer.com. That's the best way to join the community. I don't see patients anymore, so I'm not taking any new. I'm not, I don't even have old patients. I don't do that anymore. I'm done. 
them days are done. But I do create amazing programs and I'm creating networks and I'm doing talk shows and I'm available in that way. Perfect. And it is a supportive community, ladies. So keep that in mind as well. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Sunita. Thank you for doing this podcast. It's so important. Thank you. Thank you. I'm living my later in life purpose as well. (laughs) Hey, that's awesome. And you're so beautiful. So thank you. So are you. Thank you. All right.